Hey guys, Willis here, back again with another Borderlands 3 video. I uh, just want to thank you guys for 600,000 subscribers. We just reached that milestone. It is crazy. Um, thank you to everybody that's been subscribed over the years. You guys have been awesome. But with that out of the way, uh, this video is basically going to focus a lot around Zane. We're doing a really insane build, which I've been working on for a while now, which is probably the best build, I think, for Zane right now. Um, you can melt bosses, obviously not as quick as Flak, because Flak's insane. And this is super good for killing just groups of enemies as you'll see in a few minutes so if you guys enjoy the video feel free to hit it with a like and obviously subscribe with bell notifications turned on i'm running a giveaway this month as well if you're new to the channel this whole month you can win a diamond borderlands 3 collector's edition if you'd like to enter that there'll be a link at the top of the video description so yeah let's start and i'll show you guys this build so um i'll be honest zane isn't the most dps heavy class I've been trying for a while now to just get a build, and this is what I've settled on. Um, it's it's super powerful. I will give it that. It's insanely powerful. Um, probably the best build I've seen. It focuses around uh, crit damage with, obviously, some um, Jacob's weapons, and also uh, something I'll show you in a few seconds. So let's go over the skills, and then I'll show you some gameplay of the build. You've probably seen the intro of the video of me killing the boss super quick and then killing some ads. So that's the type of damage you're looking to do. And it was also on Mayhem 3 as well. So into the skills, we're going to be focusing on the uh, double agent tree and the hitman tree. Um, honestly, undercover tree is garbage. Don't even use that. So yeah, obviously you want to put on the Sentinel drone and we want to put four points into violent speed. So this is a kill skill. So after you kill an enemy, Zane gains increased movement speed and running faster with this build is extremely good because obviously moving fast is always good, dodging bullets. Uh, we've got violent momentum, so Zane's gun damage is increased while moving. The quicker he moves, the greater the gun damage. So these work in unison together. So if you're moving really fast, you're giving yourself increased uh, damage for your gun. So these are really two good perks to have together. Uh, we're also running Salvation, so five points in that. So this is a kill skill once again. After you kill an enemy, you get increased lifesteal. And then we have death follows close. Now, this is actually really good for the whole build because this will buff all of our other kill skills. So all of my other kill skills will get a 25% increased uh, bonus, which is nuts. And this lasts for seven plus seconds. So this is essentially going to be buffing all of the other uh, skills I'm going to show you on the digi clone tree. So yeah, we've got the bad dose. This is a augment for the sentinel drone this makes it so it will shoot out radiation and this will also weaken enemies and for every weakened enemy uh, my movement speed and fire rate are increased so once again we're moving quicker which is also activating violent momentum so we're getting even more increased damage um, weakened enemies also have a decreased movement speed and attack speed so all of these are just working together to pretty much buff violent momentum which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, we've got uh, another augment over here, the static field. This is really good because it just drains enemy shield. So um, I don't actually run any shock weapons. So this is extremely good when I just pop my drone. All the shields in the entire room are gone. So here we've got violent violence. So this is a kill skill once again. After I kill an enemy, I get increased fire rate for a few seconds. And then we've got eight points in playing dirty. So this is nuts uh with the weapons i'm going to be showing you in a few seconds so this is once again a kill skill after killing an enemy zane's next five shots have a chance to fire a additional projectile and i've got eight points in this so i get 80 percent chance to fire an extra shot so i'm always going to be pretty much firing an extra shot and the fact that death follows uh close i gain an increased effect and duration so yeah it's pretty much 100 percent of the time insanity so here we have a good misfortune so after killing an enemy i get increased action skill duration and this pretty much lets my abilities last for longer so really really powerful so moving on now to the digi clone tree obviously digi clone is super powerful so here we've got five points in synchronicity i think that's how you say it pretty much if i have my drone or if i have my digi clone up i'm getting increased gun damage so this is 20 percent 
burst skill. So if I have both of them up, that's 40% gun damage just right there handed to me. So here we've got four points in Donny Brook. So this is once again a kill skill, which once again is getting buffed by death follows close. So more gun damage. So here, whenever I kill an enemy, I get increased gun damage and gain a health regeneration for a few seconds. And my Digi clone is getting this increased gun damage as well. This is strong as hell too. We've got fractal frags. So the Digi clone will throw a copy of Zane's currently uh, equipped grenade mod when it is first activated. When the Digiclone is killed, it drops a free grenade. Right here, we've got duct tape mod. So the first shot fired from Zane's gun has a chance to also fire a grenade, which is super powerful as well. I'll go over what grenade I use in a minute. It isn't the pipe bomb because I wanted to make a build that didn't just include throwing a pipe bomb because you can pretty much do that on any class. It's stupid. So here we have got one point in a quick breather. So whenever I swap places with my clone, my shields begin recharging immediately. Here I've put the argument in... Whenever uh, my clone takes damage, uh, my shield is restored by a portion of that damage. Moving further down, we've got a point in old U. So I can pretty much have a free res if I just swap places with my Digi clone. Super good. Here we've got Supersonic Man. So whenever one or more of my action skills are active, I gain increased movement speed. So I get 12% per active skill. So I'm getting 24% just from activating both my abilities. And once again, this is getting buffed by Violent Momentum. The faster I move, the more damage I'm doing. Moving down, we've got Like a Ghost, three points in this. So Zane and his Digi Clone gain a chance to ignore bullets. And this is increased for a few seconds after activating a action skill. We've got one point in Boom Enhance. Whenever I summon my Digi Clone, it consumes up to three grenades. For every grenade consumed, the Digi Clone gains increased gun damage, max health, fire rate, reload, and Digi Clone duration. And here we've got three points in Trick of the Light. So I'll deal bonus shock damage to enemies that aren't targeting me. Super insane. And this is where the build shines. We've got one point in the final skill in Double Agent, a uh, Double Barrel. So the clone is actually equipped with my current weapon. When activated, uh, swapping places with the clone causes Zane and his clone to get increased gun damage. And this is 20% extra gun damage just from switching places. Um, he'll also copy whatever gun you have when you use him. So once again here i've got another augment um so if i take health damage while the clone is active i get a portion of that damage is shared to my clone instead pretty much so yeah let's go over the weapons um this does require a few weapons but honestly you can kind of use what you want but this seems to work the best and it's kind of similar to flak so for my main weapon i'm using the queen's call you can also use the king's call this is my boss melter weapon this absolutely destroys bosses as soon as i pop my clone as soon as i pop my digi clone all right, one pump chump. If you do not have this weapon, go get it now. This is the this is what makes the build shine. The one pump chump. You can pretty much one shot most enemies in the game um, from the skills I've just shown you with one pump chump. Uh, the damage on it is actually nuts. Um, it has a chance to fire a second bullet. So this thing alone does four thousand two hundred and thirty damage. Um, imagine it just firing two crazy it also has a 50 percent chance to not consume a bullet so you can pretty much just fire this over and over again without having to reload um next coming up here this is kind of a hidden gem that not many people are talking about this is the fire sale long musket if you see my top 10 video i didn't think it was powerful but when i started using it more holy jesus is this thing powerful it's actually nuts it's so strong so what makes this strong it's it's basically a flamethrower you throw it down and it'll make portable flamethrowers. These flamethrowers will run around and pretty much just one shot enemies. It's crazy. I'll put in some clips so you guys can see how strong this gun actually is. It's very, very short range. Very short range. So the main thing you want to be doing is just doing this, throwing a bunch down in a fight, and then just switching back to your other weapons. So for my final weapon, I'm using the engulfing shredder fire. This thing's nuts. This thing is crazy. So it has a ton of bullets and it's really good for just melting people this is the weapon i'm using most of the time when i'm just flying around at mac 10 just shooting everybody it's so so good as for the grenade i'm using the Stormfront, which pretty much just depletes shields and then for my other things it really do honestly doesn't matter you can use what you want if you had one that increased movement speed that would probably be great um i've got i guess a artifact which increases radiation damage which helps me shred bosses a bit quicker all right so let's just i guess show you a bit of uh action with this build going into like just some ads and stuff showing you how insanely powerful this build is obviously when i like to start a fight i just like to start with my lmg because this thing just shreds 
completely. It's so powerful. As soon as you get your first kill as well, that's when this build starts getting strong because you are moving so, so quick. So quick. So you can just run around, melt people, throw your stuff down, and just melt enemies. It's actually crazy. So good. Look at that. I just instantly killed him with the flame, bro. Remember, the faster you're moving, the more damage you're going to be doing, which is crazy. But yeah, let's go over the, uh, obviously, the Guardian skills, because I know that's very important as well. So here's what I've put all my stuff into. Pretty much critical damage, uh, gun damage, fire rate, uh, some melee damage, uh, and I've got pretty much everything in luck. I've put most of my stuff in Enforcer and a bit into Hunter. It's very important that you get this perk here, Overkill. So any excess damage from a kill is added to my next shot. This is really good. So if you completely one-shot an enemy, any excess damage is put in onto my next shot. So that's crazy. I've also got Cooker Combo. So this increases gun damage by 2% for one second with each shot. Insanity. And I've also got Hollow Point. So killing an enemy with a critical hit causes an explosion around them. This is pretty fun as well. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much been the one-shot boss. Zane build, insane. I don't even know. PvE build has been pretty insane. So yeah, I think this is pretty much the best build in the game if you want to play Zane. Um, let me know if you got any other builds. I'd love to see. Uh, but this has been Willis Gaming, guys. I will see you in my next video. And peace.